Hippopotamus can be very aggressive and mean, with a bite pressure of 1825 psi and the ability to run up to 30 miles per hour. Hippos assess each other by opening their mouths to 150 degrees and extending them to their maximum length of 4 to 5 feet. Almost every part of the lion can be crushed by the hippo. A wildebeest's muscles are two and a half times more powerful than a car engine. Wildebeest can travel up to 50 miles over five days without drinking. A human can die in three days without water. The wildebeest converts two until thirds of energy into work and wastes only a third as heat. It can repel opponents with its horns and strong feet. It is a creature that does not give up easily even in a lion attack. Wildebeest are very strong and can inflict landlord injury even to a lion. African buffaloes are hard animals to capture due to their unpredictable and aggressive behavior. So, one lion cannot handle a fully grown African buffalo. The buffalo uses its horns for self-defense against predators. The lion, on the other hand, has very sharp teeth and strong jaws but they are no match for the buffalo's powerful horns. A lion can never win against a buffalo. Taking down a fully grown buffalo is a hard task for the lion except with the help of their pride. It's because, the average weight of an adult lion is 400 to 500 pounds. Average weight of an adult buffalo is 1800 to 2500 pounds. It's literally impossible for a lion to knock an adult buffalo off its feet due to the massive weight of the bovine. But, a pride of lions together can overpower an adult buffalo. A pride of lions can overcome an adult buffalo is by getting a firm bite on its throat or windpipe. Giraffes, on the other hand, are so tall that a lion would never be able to hit their throat for a bite. A giraffe kick can break or dislocate a lion's jaw or even break a limb, and giraffes are notorious for kicking. As a result, a single lion would never be able to defeat an adult giraffe. Rhinoceros is the largest animal species after the elephant among the animals living on land. Rhinos' most important weapons are their giant horns. They can kill their opponent with giant horn blows. Adult rhinoceros have no real predators in the wild, other than humans. Adult rhinos are so strong that predators and scavengers hesitate to approach. Young rhinos can however fall prey to big cats, crocodiles, African wild dogs, and hyenas. Experienced and warlike rhinos try to protect the young ones from predators. Rhinos are aggressive and resistant animals. When he gets angry, he can attack whoever gets in front of him. So much so that even a giant elephant can stand up. 
If an adult rhino has a baby with him, he will defend it at the cost of death. It doesn't care how strong and dangerous the opponent is. Animals such as hippos and elephants have to be very careful with their huge horns. They can be seriously injured or lose their life with horn blows. The Sumatran rhinoceros is the smallest extant rhinoceros species. It can be found at very high altitudes in Borneo and Sumatra. The most important advantage of predators such as lions, hyenas and wild dogs is that they attack in packs. They try to defeat the opponent by attacking in a flock. However, it shows that rhinos will be very difficult due to their thick skin and strong structure. Sometimes they can struggle for leadership among themselves. After winning the war, the rhinoceros declares its leadership and becomes a voice in the region. Despite their tonal weight, they are very agile and fast animals. Both African species and the Sumatran rhinoceros have two horns, while the Indian and Javan rhinoceros have a single horn. Attacking a mother rhino with a baby is the end of that predator. The mother rhino can destroy her opponent without mercy. In the East African, lion is seen throughout such countries like Kenya and Tanzania. So any snake from such areas would be a realistic approach to looking at such a battle. Such snakes that are from the countries of Tanzania and Kenya are black mamba, boomslang and cobra. All these snakes have one thing in common, which is they are all highly venomous and dangerous to be around. Both the black mamba and boomslang although being highly dangerous are extremely secretive animals and only attack if provoked or if they feel threatened. In this sense the likelihood that a fight between a lion and either one of these snakes occurring drops dramatically. But on the off chance it could be a 50-50 chance between both animals. If the lion has the intent to kill then its jaws would make light work of these scaly creatures however with reward of winning there is always a risk of losing. If bitten by these snakes, the lion might win the battle however succumb to the venom of these snakes in due course. But there is always the chance the lion doesn't end up killing the snake and the snake bite occurs first. by which the lion might either fight or flee. In the shock of being bitten by venomous snake, it would more than likely cause the lion to run off away from the danger, in which case those snakes win. Snakes have several other ways to detect a food. Openings called pit holes in front of their eyes sense the heat given off by warm-blooded prey. Please like this video and subscribe to BV Animal Documentary, if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.